Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm back with four all new Valentine's Day decor DIYs. In my last video I did all pink tones. In today's video I'm doing all red tones. I really hope that you enjoy today's video. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Now let's go ahead and get started. For the first DIY today, I'm going to be using this wooden piece. This originally had unfinished wood icons in it, and I thought that this would actually be really good for a project, so I kept it. The first thing I'm going to be doing to it is painting on some of my folk art wood tint in the color Walnut. I like painting it on in small sections because I can get in all of the little wooden grooves this way. And then once I have it all painted on, then I just wipe away the excess with an old rag. And I continue to do this for all of the outside edges, the front edges, and then I also stain the back side as well. And then once that was all stained for the inside for like little areas. I painted those with my Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster and I just did one quick coat of that paint. Next, I'm using these three unfinished wood letters. I'm using the letters L, V, and E. And these ones are from Joanne Fabrics and I'm painting all of them with my folk art paint in the color rich black. And then instead of using an O, I'm using this unfinished wooden heart. This one is from Dollar Tree and I'm painting it with my folk art paint in the color Imperial. Then once all of my paints have dried, I'm just placing all of my letters and my heart inside of my piece just to get them all centered. And then once I have them where I want them to be, I'm just hot gluing each one of them down. Then for the very last step, I'm gonna be using some of this white cotton cord from Hobby Lobby, and I'm tying a knot on one end, and then I'm just measuring to see how long I want it to be cutting it down to size and then making a knot on the other end and then just hot gluing those two ends on the back side of this piece. And this is what the love piece looks like all finished. It was super easy to do and I was able to create it using items I already had in my craft stash and I ended up placing it on one of my tables. Now for DIY number two. For this one, I'm using this small wood piece from Michaels. It is from the Art Minds brand that they carry at Michaels. And the first thing I'm gonna be doing to this piece is painting on that same wood tint that I used in my last DIY. It is from Folk Art and I'm using the color Walnut. I do like to work in smaller sections. I think that is a little bit less messy this way. Once I have it painted on, then I'm just using an old rag to wipe away the excess and I did stain this entire piece. Then I'm gonna be using these three felt roses. These I picked up from Dollar General last year and they do have a little sticker on the bottom side of them, but I'm not gonna be using that, so I'm just peeling the stickers off. Then I'm using these three wooden mini flower pots. These are from Hobby Lobby. I believe they come in a pack of four, but I'm just gonna be using three of them today. And I'm painting all three of them in the Waverly paint in the color plaster. After all of my paint was dried, then I'm taking all three of my pots and placing them inside of my stained piece. I wanted to make sure that I had them all centered before I actually started attaching them. And to attach them, I'm using a little bit of hot glue on the bottom of each pot and then just placing them back into place inside of my wood piece. Then it was time for me to start attaching all of my roses. Again, I just placed them on my pots, make sure that they were exactly how I wanted them to be before I started using hot glue to attach them to the tops of my pots. For this project, I'm using two Scrabble letter tiles, one with an I and one with a U, and then also a mini wooden heart from Dollar Tree, and then I'm painting the heart with my Imperial Color chalk paint. Then I attached the eye above my first rose using some hot glue. Before I started to attach the heart above my second rose, I decided it needed a little bit of a white around the edges. I thought it would just make the heart pop a little bit more. So I'm just dry brushing the plaster color from Waverly around the entire outside of the heart and then a little bit on the front of the heart as well. And then once I had it all painted, I just attached that above the second rose with some hot glue. And then the same thing for the U tile. And then 
to add a little bit of detail to my pots, I took a little bit of my Java colored paint from Bulk Art and I just very lightly painted that around the underneath lip of my pots just to give them a little bit more detail. This is what my piece looks like all finished. It was really easy to do and I think it is super cute. Would be perfect on a tabletop like I have here or even maybe on a shelf or tiered tray. Moving right along into DIY number three, for this one I'm using this piece from Dollar Tree. It's really cute, but the paper on the front of it was already peeling up, so I just peeled off what I could and it was actually glued really good in the middle. I tried using some heat to get the glue off, but it was on there. So I just sanded away what I could and then I just painted right over it. I did start thinking that I was going to do this piece white but then once I had it all painted I changed my mind so I just painted right over it with my imperial color paint from Folk Art and I did two coats of this paint and then while the paint was drying I went ahead and started painting all of my letters that I'm going to be using. These wood letters are from Joanne Fabrics and I'm spelling out the word Valentine with them and I painted all of the letters with the plaster color paint from Waverly. Once the paint was all dry on my letters, then I started placing them down on my red piece just to get an idea of where I want them to be and get them all centered. Once I had them all centered, then I started gluing them down into place using some hot glue. And then to add some detail to this piece, I'm using some of this red and white string from Dollar Tree that I picked up this year. I'm cutting it into two strands and then I'm just wrapping those strands above the word Valentine and hot gluing the ends of those strings right to the back side. And you can see here that I did end up laying my piece in some wet white paint. I will touch that up later on. And then I did the same thing with two more pieces of this string. I just put them on the bottom of the word Valentine. And again, I just hot glued the two ends of that string along the back side of my piece. And this is the Valentine tabletop piece all finished. This could not have been an easier project. It only took me a few minutes to create. And what's even better is it only took a few supplies to create it as well. Now for the fourth and final DIY today. For this one, I'm using this square wooden piece from Michaels. Again, this is the Art Minds brand that they carry at Michaels. And just like in a couple of the other projects from today, I'm gonna to be using my Folk Art Wood Tint in the color Walnut. This has been my go-to wood tint or stain lately. I just really love the color and the way that this looks, so I've been using it in a lot of my projects. I'm just painting it on with an old brush and then I wiped away the excess stain. Then for the inside of this piece, I'm painting it with the Waverly paint in plaster. And then I'm also using 12 of these mini unfinished wooden hearts from Dollar Tree. These did come in the assorted wood pack that they had last year. And I'm painting all 12 of the hearts with the Imperial chalk paint from Folk Art. Once I had all of my hearts painted and the paint has dried, I'm then placing them inside of my wood piece. And I'm doing four hearts across for three rows total. And then I'm just using some hot glue on the back side of each heart to attach them to my piece. And this is the piece all finished. Again, a really easy project that's the perfect accent piece to add to your Valentine's Day decor this year. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, I hope that you will consider subscribing. And please be sure to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I would love to hear which project from today was your favorite. Thank you so much for watching.